Hey guys, we're back with another update video. It is after hours, Wednesday, April 29th. It's 7.20 p.m. Obviously the market's closed. So I just want to give a quick update on the plays that we had on this week. So starting with SPY, you remember I sold the covered call yesterday at a strike price of $288. And I sold that for $1.87 each. So SPY just continued to rock it up today. And at close, it was on the 290s. Uh, actually, it was 293. It still keeps going up after hours up to around 295, 296 almost. So that shares, those shares definitely got called away, which is fine. It's what I wanted to happen because I wanted to free up that capital again. So if you remember, we got assigned the shares at $286 each. And they got called away at 288 so I made total $200 in profit just from the stock appreciation. And then I made another $187 in profit in the premium that I collected by selling that covered call. So I made a total of $387 in profit just from that covered call. And essentially that I ran the wheel on SPY because I got assigned by puts and I got them called away with covered calls. So I'm up $387 right now. And then the other plays that we have on are a bunch of SPY cash covered puts, or I'm sorry, AMD cash covered puts. And if you remember, I have $48 strike, $51 strike, $52 strike, and $53 strike AMD puts on. And I actually have two of the $51 strike puts. So AMD, it's been just kind of hovering a little over $53 all day today. It ended at $53.66, but it's still kind of slowly going up after hours. So hopefully by tomorrow and Friday, hopefully AMD continues to go up or, you know, if it wants to stay at $53 and one penny and just hover there for the next two days, I'm okay with that too. So we're set to collect on Friday end of day, if AMD stays above $53, I'll collect $22 in premium for the 48 strike, the $53 uh, in premium for the $51 strikes, and I actually have two of those, so twice. I have a $52 strike, which I sold for $70 in premium, and the $53 strike, which is the one that's I'm most worried about because that's where the stock price is hovering, I sold for $150 in premium. So Friday, if AMD stays above $53, I'll collect, or I should say I should keep $348 of premium and not have any shares assigned. Honestly, if it dips a little below 40, 53, unless it's between 52 and 53, I'm okay getting 100 shares assigned. I'll just sell covered calls on it, but I'll still get to keep the premium from the other uh, options that I sold. So we'll see what happens. It's not the end of the world, um, especially if AMD trades sideways then. If I get assigned shares, I'll just sell a covered call like I did for SPY uh, next week. And then hopefully they'll get called away and I'll free up that capital again. But this is a big week because I have the potential to make an extra 348 on Friday after I just made 387 today. So that'll be a $735 gain for this week, which would be really good. So let me know if you have any comments below. Did you play AMD or SPY this week? If you did, let me know what your positions are. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Um, tell your friends about this channel. Get them to subscribe as well. Hit that like button. And as always, happy trading.